Ahmed I was the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire from 1603 until his death in 1617. Ahmed's reign is noteworthy for marking the first breach in the Ottoman tradition of royal fratricide, henceforth Ottoman rulers would no longer systematically execute their brothers upon accession to the throne. He is also well known for his construction of the Blue Mosque, one of the most famous mosques in Turkey. Ahmed was probably born in April 1590 at the Manisa Palace, Manisa, when his father Sidid Mehmed was still a prince and the governor of the Sinjak of Manisa. His mother was Handan Sultan. After his grandfather Murad III's death in 1595, his father came to Constantinople and ascended the throne as Sultan Mehmed III. Mehmed ordered the execution of 19 of his own brothers and half-brothers. Ahmed's elder brother Sizaid Mahmud was also executed by his father Mehmed on June 7, 1603, just before Mehmed's own death on December 22, 1603. Mahmud was buried along with his mother in a separate mausoleum built by Ahmed in Said Mosque, Constantinople. Ahmed ascended the throne after his father's death in 1603, at the age of 13, when his powerful grandmother Safiye Sultan was still alive. A far lost uncle of Ahmed, Yahya, resented his accession to the throne and spent his life scheming to become Sultan. Ahmed broke with the traditional fratricide following previous enthronements and did not order the execution of his brother Mustafa. Instead, Mustafa was sent to live at the old palace at Bayezid along with their grandmother Safiye Sultan. This was most likely due to Ahmed's young age, he had not yet demonstrated his ability to sire children, and Mustafa was then the only other candidate for the Ottoman throne. His brother's execution would have endangered the dynasty, and thus he was spared. In the earlier part of his reign, Ahmed I showed decision and vigor, which were belied by his subsequent conduct. The wars in Hungary and Persia, which attended his accession, terminated unfavorably for the empire. Its prestige was further tarnished in the Treaty of Zivitrak, signed in 1606, whereby the annual tribute paid by Austria was abolished. Following the crushing defeat in the Ottoman Safavid War against the neighboring rival Safavid Empire, led by Shah Abbas the Great Georgia, Azerbaijan and other vast territories in the Caucasus were ceded back to Persia per the Treaty of Nasa Pasha in 1612. Territories that had been temporarily conquered in the Ottoman Safavid War. The new borders were drawn per the same line as confirmed in the Peace of Amasya of 1555. The Ottoman Safavid War had begun shortly before the death of Ahmed's father Mehmed III. Upon ascending the throne, Ahmed I appointed Sagalazad Yusuf Shinan Pasha as the commander of the Eastern Army. The army marched from Constantinople on June 15, 1604, which was too late, and by the time it had arrived on the Eastern Front on November 8, 1604, the Safavid army had captured Yerevan and entered the Kars ILA, and could only be stopped in a Kaltsik. Despite the conditions being favorable, Shinan Pasha decided to stay for the winter in Van, but then marched to Erzurum to stop an incoming Safavid attack. This caused unrest within the army and the year was practically wasted for the Ottomans. In 1605, Shinan Pasha marched to take Tabriz, but the army was undermined by Kos Sefer Pasha, the Bailerbi of Erzurum, marching independently from Shinan Pasha and consequently being taken prisoner by the Safavids. The Ottoman army was routed at Ermia and had to flee firstly to Van and then to Diyarbakir. Here, Shinan Pasha sparked a rebellion by executing the Bailerbi of Aleppo, Khan Baladiglu Hussein Pasha, who had come to provide help, upon the pretext that he had arrived too late. He soon died himself and the Safavid army was able to capture Ganja, Shirvan and Shemaki in Azerbaijan. The long Turkish war between the Ottomans and the Habsburg monarchy had been going on for over a decade by the time Ahmed ascended the throne. Grand Vizier Malkos Ali Pasha marched to the Western Front from Constantinople on June 3, 1604 and arrived in Belgrade, but died there, so Lala Mehmed Pasha was appointed as the Grand Vizier and the commander of the Western Army. Under Mehmed Pasha, the Western Army recaptured Pest and Vak, but failed to capture Estergom as the siege was lifted due to unfavorable weather and the objections of the soldiers. Meanwhile, the Prince of Transylvania, Stephen Boxkai, who struggled for the region's independence and had formerly supported the Habsburgs, sent a messenger to the port asking for help. Upon the promise of help, his forces also joined the Ottoman forces in Belgrade. With this help, the Ottoman army besieged Estergom and captured it on November 4, 1605. Bakskai, with Ottoman help, captured Nove Zamki and forces under Tiryaki Hassan Pasha took Vesprem and Pelota. Sarhuz Ibrahim Pasha, the Bailerbi of Nakanesia, attacked the Austrian region of Istria. Ottoman miniature of Ahmed I however, 
with Jalali revolts in Anatolia more dangerous than ever in a defeat in the Eastern Front, Mehmed Pasha was called to Constantinople. Mehmed Pasha suddenly died there, whilst preparing to leave for the East. Kuhuku Murad Pasha then negotiated the Peace of Zivitrak, which abolished the tribute of 30,000 ducats paid by Austria and addressed the Habsburg Emperor as the equal of the Ottoman Sultan. The Jalali revolts were a strong factor in the Ottomans' acceptance of the terms. This signaled the end of Ottoman growth in Europe. Resentment over the war with the Habsburgs and heavy taxation, along with the weakness of the Ottoman military response, combined to make the reign of Ahmed I the zenith of the Jalali revolts. Tabal Ahmed launched a revolt soon after the coronation of Ahmed I and defeated Nasa Pasha and the Bailerbi of Anatolia, Kekti and Ali Pasha. In 1605, Tabal Ahmed was offered the position of the Bailerbi of Sharazer to stop his rebellion, but soon afterwards he went on to capture Harput. His son, Mehmed, obtained the governorship of Baghdad with a fake firman and defeated the forces of Nasa Pasha sent to defeat him. Meanwhile, Khan Bulidaglu Ali Pasha united his forces with the Druze Sheikh Minoglu Faradin to defeat the Emir of Tripoli Sefaglu Yusuf. He went on to take control of the Adana area, forming an army and issuing coins. His forces routed the army of the newly appointed Bailerbi of Aleppo, Hussein Pasha. Grand Vizier Bosnak Dervish Mehmed Pasha was executed for the weakness he showed against the Jalalis. He was replaced by Kuyuku Murad Pasha, who marched to Syria with his forces to defeat the 30,000-strong rebel army with great difficulty, albeit with a decisive result, on October 24, 1607. Meanwhile, he pretended to forgive the rebels in Anatolia and appointed the rebel Kalandaraglu, who was active in Manisa and Bursa, as the Sanyak Bay of Ankara. Baghdad was recaptured in 1607 as well. Ken Bulidaglu Ali Pasha fled to Constantinople and asked for forgiveness from Ahmed I, who appointed him to Timisoara and later Belgrade, but then executed him due to his misrule there. Meanwhile, Kalandaraglu was not allowed in the city by the people of Ankara and rebelled again, only to be crushed by Murad Pasha's forces. Kalandaraglu ended up fleeing to Persia. Murad Pasha then suppressed some smaller revolts in central Anatolia and suppressed other Jalali chiefs by inviting them to join the army. Due to the widespread violence of the Jalali revolts, a great number of people had fled their villages and a lot of villages were destroyed. Some military chiefs had claimed these abandoned villages as their property. This deprived the port of tax income and on September 30, 1609, Ahmed I issued a letter guaranteeing the rights of the villagers. He then worked on the resettlement of abandoned villages. Bilingual Franco-Turkish translation of the 1604 Franco-Ottoman capitulations between Ahmed I and Henry IV of France, published by François Savary de Breve in 1615 The new Grand Vizier, Nasa Pasha, did not want to fight with the Safavids. The Safavid Shah also sent a letter saying that he was willing to sign a peace treaty, with which he would have to send 200 loads of silk every year to Constantinople. On November 20, 1612, the Treaty of Nasa Pasha was signed, which ceded all the lands the Ottoman Empire had gained in the War of 1578-1990 back to Persia and reinstated the 1,555 boundaries. However, the peace ended in 1615 when the Shah did not send the 200 loads of silk. On May 22, 1615, Grand Vizier Okuz Mehmed Pasha was assigned to organize an attack on Persia. Mehmed Pasha delayed the attack till the next year, until when the Safavids made their preparations and attacked Ganja. In April 1616, Mehmed Pasha left Aleppo with a large army and marched to Yerevan, where he failed to take the city and withdrew to Erzurum. He was removed from his post and replaced by Damit Halil Pasha. Halil Pasha went for the winter to Diyarbakir, while the Khan of Crimea, Kanabek Gure, attacked the areas of Ganja, Nikachevan, and Julfa. Ahmed I renewed trade treaties with England, France, and Venice. In July 1612, the first ever trade treaty with the Dutch Republic was signed. He expanded the capitulations given to France, specifying that merchants from Spain, Ragusa, Genoa, and Kona and Florence could trade under the French flag. Ahmed I played at Masjid al Nabawi, marking Bab al Tauba. Sultan Ahmed constructed the Sultan Ahmed Mosque, the magnum opus of the Ottoman architecture, across from the Hagia Sophia. The Sultan attended the breaking of the ground with a golden pickaxe to begin the construction of the mosque complex. An incident nearly broke out after the Sultan discovered that the Blue Mosque contained the same number of minarets as the Grand Mosque of Mecca. 
Ahmed became furious at this fault and became remorseful until the Sheikh al Islam recommended that he should erect another minaret at the Grand Mosque of Mecca and the matter was solved. The Sultan Ahmed Mosque Ahmed became delightedly involved in the 11th comprehensive renovations of the Kaaba, which had just been damaged by flooding. He sent craftsmen from Constantinople, and the golden rain gutter that kept rain from collecting on the roof of the Kaaba was successfully renewed. It was again during the era of Sultan Ahmed that an iron web was placed inside the Zamzam well in Mecca. The placement of this web about three feet below the water level was a response to lunatics who jumped into the well, imagining a promise of a heroic death. In Medina, the city of the Prophet Muhammad, a new pulpit made of white marble and shipped from Istanbul arrived in the mosque of the Prophet and substituted the old, worn-out pulpit. It is also known that Sultan Ahmed erected two more mosques in Uskudar on the Asian side of Istanbul, however, neither of them has survived. The Sultan had a crest carved with the footprint of Muhammad that he would wear on Fridays and festive days and illustrated one of the most significant examples of affection to the Prophet in Ottoman history. Engraved inside the crest was a poem he composed, If only could I bear over my head like my turban forever thee, if only I could carry it all the time with me, on my head like a crown, the footprint of the Prophet Muhammad which has a beautiful complexion, Ahmed, go on, rub your face on the feet of that rose. Sultan Ahmed was known for his skills in fencing, poetry, horseback riding, and fluency in several languages. Ahmed was a poet who wrote a number of political and lyrical works under the name body. Ahmed patronized scholars, calligraphers, and pious men. Hence he commissioned a book entitled The Quintessence of Histories to be worked upon by calligraphers. He also attempted to enforce conformance to Islamic laws and traditions, restoring the old regulations that prohibited alcohol and he attempted to enforce attendance at Friday prayers and paying alms to the poor in the proper way. Ahmed I's Turbe Ahmed I died of typhus and gastric bleeding on November 22, 1617 at the Topkap Palace, Istanbul. He was buried in Ahmed I Mausoleum, Sultan Ahmed Mosque. He was succeeded by his younger brother Said Mustafa as Sultan Mustafa I later three of Ahmed's sons ascended to the throne, Osman II, Murad IV and Ibrahim. Today, Ahmed I is remembered mainly for the construction of the Sultan Ahmed Mosque, one of the masterpieces of Islamic architecture. The area in Fadi around the mosque is today called Sultanahmet. He died at Topkap Palace in Constantinople and is buried in a mausoleum right outside the walls of the famous mosque. In the 2015 TV series Mudashem Musel, Kosum, Ahmed I is portrayed by Turkish actor Ekin Koch. Media related to Ahmed I at Wikimedia Commons works written by or about Ahmed I at Wikisource. Thanks for watching.